Hey guys, it's Vera. I hope you're doing great wherever you are. So today I want to talk to you about what two of my most favorite things in the world have in common, um, which is, as you know, knitting and yoga. And through practicing them both for many years, I kind of started to notice that there are this kind of parallel um, beneficial aspects of uh, both of them that go hand in hand and complement each other. So practicing yoga makes us feel really, really good. We feel expansive, we feel creative, our creativity sparks, and we just want to pick up our needles and um, go for it, whatever project we're thinking about. And knitting is um, a continuation of yoga in a way because it's a meditation. Uh, it makes us calm, it's a good time for us to breathe and just uh, think through whatever thought comes, thoughts come to mind. Um, but when we knit for a while and we sit still, we toughen up, you know, our shoulders, our back, our hip hurt, hips hurt, and that's when yoga comes in handy. So I feel like there's this um, uh, magic circle that happens. So when you do yoga, you get creative and you want to knit. And then when you knit for a while, you just want to stretch out. And then when you go back to the mat and you stretch. Both knitting and yoga are extremely beneficial for our health. With yoga, it may be a little more obvious because we move around, we breathe, we go upside down, we get the blood flowing, we um, massage our internal organs by twisting and rolling around. And with knitting, it might be a little less obvious, but it's very therapeutic, it calms us down, you know, after all the stress and um, um, anxiety that we get during the day. It's just a really relaxing and stress-releasing activity. When we hold needles and yarn in our hands, it really stimulates and massages our um, nerve endings. And uh, as you know, there are um, all these points um, on our hands, um, on our palms, that actually um, correlate with all our internal organs. Both yoga and knitting are an awesome way to connect with other people. Um, you know, you started on your own maybe, and then bit by bit you find yourself with all these wonderful people around you that you can um, share your ideas with and you can support each other. You find one, you find wonderful friends, and um, it just feels like a community in both cases. Another great similarity is that actually the easier you go, the further you will get. Um, if you have ever taken a Strala class, you will know that we really encourage people to go easy. Um, in our classes without pushing or forcing anything because the more relaxed and um, softened and uh, the easier you are, um, the easier will, it will be for your body to open up. And in knitting, it's a very similar thing. So you're creating space by opening your stitch and just threading through the yarn without tearing, without forcing, without pushing. And we will go into that in my future video. Another great similarity and actually great news is that both with yoga and knitting, things are so much easier than you think, I promise. As long as you are breathing, as long as you're moving a little bit, as long as you are showing up on your mat, you're actually doing yoga. And with knitting, all there is, is only two stitches. Basically, everything you see is a combination of a knit stitch and a purl stitch, but we'll get into that a little later. So now when we know that everyone can do it, it brings me to the next point that unites and connects the two, which is practice, practice, practice. And the fun part about both yoga and knitting is that you can really enjoy the process and have fun along the way. When you allow yourself to explore, to be creative, to find your own way, next thing you know is all the tough stuff is not that tough anymore and all the complicated things don't seem as complicated anymore so it's all good my favorite part about it all is that you get hooked so fast the more you do it the more you want to both with yoga or knitting when it comes to yoga your body feels so good that it asks for it and you really crave your practice and with knitting it's the same I'm sure all the knitters out there will agree the moment you finish your project and you put your needles aside, it's like this rush in your hands. You just want to start something new. And now I'm really curious to hear what you guys have to say. Um, if you are a knitter or a yogi, let me know if there's anything else that you noticed that maybe I missed um, or haven't mentioned. And um, if you are none, but you still think that everything that we talked about um, is applicable to other parts of your life, just um, let me know.